Give it to me like that her opponents usually panic because they can't understand, as we can't, how she could be okay when she's under duress as she is. I asked her to kick me in the leg at our fighter meeting on Thursday, and as you see, I'm still limping. So she packs some power, and her opponent better be ready for it here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introduce you first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Hurricane. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Priceless! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. All right, here we go with round one. Most people are not expecting of a grappler's delight tonight. These women can strike, and that's the type of fight they're expecting. A lot of times people believe when you put two strikers together, they end up wrestling. But these two women have told us, don't even think about calling any grappling. Tonight you watch a kickboxing match inside of the octagon, so be prepared. Nice job by her there to block those shots. When you first go to a boxing class, the first thing they say is glue your guard to your face. Her guard's high tonight. Her guard's high and she keeps the elbow down. She does a great job of blocking the top and down low. Nice loop and punch. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? I mean, look at the commitment to kicking these fights. All right, so will the elbows and knees soon fall? Somehow stays in the fight. Just missing on the high kick there. Nice leg kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Nice. Let's get you some highlights from that previous round. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. And defensively, she didn't make any adjustments. She didn't make any adjustments. She's standing on a straight line. She's not moving the target. So when her opponent loads up and she throws her punches, she's exactly where she wants her to be. And it's showing in the damage that was done over the course of that round. All right, round two. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, she blocks the punch. Oh, what a punch. Oh, wow! Head kick. Just missed on that spinning attack. Nice liver shot, man. Kick land. Oh, big knee! She is such a move. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. 
She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. She's doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Nice. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you gotta get out to space. Find places to rest and recover. Get against the outcome. Go to the clinch. Find ways to just recover so that when you have that next explosion, it actually has some meaning to it. Big body kick land. Chase the finish. Oh! All right, there's the end of the round. The truck's gonna run back that knockdown for us, DC, and thought we might have gotten a fight finish there. Yeah, we thought it was over. I mean, I was over here yelling, it's done. I thought the night was done, but instead, we go forward. That shows how tough she is. Let's see if her opponent can find the shot, though, that will end the night this time. Third round underway. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, she's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Well, she's trying to find the range, but I don't know if it's a cardio issue or what, but she is just swinging it there. I mean, she threw everything at her opponent early, and now she's paying for it. She did not conserve her energy. Now she's paying for all those big strikes, and to miss like that only makes it worse. Ooh, big shot land. Oh! Oh! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. It's the elbow there. The elbow's landing now. All right, so she lands another good series of elbows there, DC, and this could be the beginning of the end here. I mean, the fight will not go long if something doesn't change for the defensive part. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like punching technique, that round was about as good as it gets. Yeah, it looks like a boxing fight. She does a great job of using her hands to set everything up. She's so fast and she's so sharp with those punches. It allowed her to really control that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Under three minutes remain in round four. Oh! She can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. I think she hooked it. She blocked the punch. Nice straight punch. Ty clinch four here. We'll see what she can oh, do with it. Nice, John. That was nice, but he take down the tip. Now she's in trouble. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, no doubt about it. 
that is some opportunistic grappling right there. And nice finishing instincts as well. You see a lot of fighters get the dominant position, but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap. No problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. All right, let's check out some of the action in that previous round. DC, she certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. That's a finish they'll be talking about for some time. All right, with that, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop in this contest at 1 minute, 13 seconds of round number 4. For the winner, by submission, Price oh, well, she is. A lot of people felt like this fight was destined to go the distance. She had other ideas. She said that if this fight went to the ground, it did not matter how good her opponent is. She was going to submit her. She did exactly that. She feels like she's levels above the rest of the game in the grappling. 